On Saturday, a new festival will close a one mile stretch of one of the city's most iconic boulevards, Ward Parkway. But while the city touts it as a great family friendly event, some nearby homeowners say enough is enough. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth is live at the Meyer Circle Fountain with what you need to know. The Cycle in the City, that's the name of the new event that's going to shut down everything a mile south here to Gregory Boulevard to right up here to the iconic Meyer Circle Fountain. Many in this area are very excited about hosting a new festival, but some are also asking themselves, again, it won't have a start or finish line, but what Cycle in the City will have is an absence of traffic. Well, at least the kind we're used to seeing. It's nothing that's ever been done before. We're closing down a major parkway to enjoy it in a way that you're not used to enjoying. The goal is to promote people to be active by allowing them to bike or walk down a closed ward parkway. It is one of the 10 great streets in the country. But it's this beauty that attracts several events each year, shutting down sections of ward parkway, making it difficult for homeowners to get around. I understand the appeal for that. The problem is it's every other weekend. Ginny Weber has lived on 70th Street, just adjacent to Ward Parkway, for a decade. She says many neighbors have concerns about the street closing events that have seemed to have piled up. Some point or another, you know, you want to get out of your neighborhood, and you can't do that before noon or one when the event is over, and you're really stuck. I certainly understand their concerns, and I don't want to in any way negate that. Deb Ridgeway is an organizer who thinks the community will be more open once they see what they're trying to accomplish. We do ask people to kind of work with us, and we did uh, have several meetings or with uh, representatives from the various homeowners associations. The first annual free street festival will run 2 to 5 on Saturday. Organizers hope to move this event to a different location throughout the city each year. Reporting live, Josh Elmuth, 41 Action News.